Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure Snow SQL on, on Windows operating systems. I am going to perform the, this action on Windows 11 operating system. Okay, the process is same for all Windows operating systems. Open browser then go to any search engine and search for Snow SQL download. Click on or simply go to snowsql.com. Click on developers. Then click on downloads, then select the Snow SQL. Then see here download latest version for your OS. So mine is Windows. So click on Snow SQL for Windows. See here we have all old versions. Click on download for Windows. See download has been started. Go to downloads. See its size is 30 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download is completed. Now click on this Snow SQL MSI file. It is the version of 1.2.31. Okay. This is the version at the time of making this video. Click on it. Click on next. See, this will be the location for Snow SQL. Click on next. If you want to change, you have to click on change. Then click on next. Click on install. See here, completed the Snowflake Snow SQL setup wizard. Okay, now it is asking open terminal window that is command prompt. Now open command prompt that is cmd, then click on this, then give the command snow SQL hyphen or minus v. See, this is the version Snow SQL we have installed on my PC now. Next is we have to connect to the Snow SQL by using your account name and login name. But see here we are unable to find the account name. So to find out the account name we have two ways. One we will receive the email to activate the account. See from this A to this number two is the account name. Otherwise if you, are, if you, don't, if you don't have that email click on admin. then accounts then here click on manage urls see this is the account name copy this one then go to the command prompt then snow command is snow snow sql hyphen a then account name then hyphen u username if you don't know username close this one click on go to admin then click on users and roles see here username is auto schools if you want to reset the password you have to click on reset you forgot if you want if you forgot the password of this user you have to click on reset password i know the password so give the username then provide the password See, I have successfully connected to my Snowflake account. Let us verify the list of the databases by running the command show databases. Put the semicolon at the end of the statement. See, we have three databases, auto schools and default databases. That is Snowflake and Snowflake sample data. We can also verify, click on data. See here, we have three databases. We can also create database from here also. Create database test put the semicolon at the end or 
and the command is create or replace database r2 admins put semicolon at the end of the statement wait it is c database r2 admin successfully created one row produced time elapsed is this much now verify again show databases c we have four rows before it was three rows okay now see here r2 admin is created this is the creation time okay let me refresh but still we are unable to find the database click on here and refresh see new database has been added expand it click on it see this is the creation time now next add connection information to this config file okay it's like we have to add the account name username and password we add these settings then every time no need to give this connection string just we have just we need to give this no sql okay now go to this dot snow sql config file location c drive users and username then dot see here yeah here dot snow sql this is the config file right click and open with notepad or notepad plus both are fine anything is fine click on it click on ok here we have to provide the account name as I told you, account name is admin accounts. Click on it, manage URL. This is the account name. Copy it, then go to config file, replace this one, paste it. Now provide the username. R2 school is the username then provide the password also change this example to anything like demo or anything is fine this is just connection name if you want to provide db name copy copy these three values to here replace this hash here also hash here also warehouse default database name the db name that is default database name i'm giving R2 schools. I have that database. Data. See here, I have the database. Default schema, I am not going to provide here. Then save it. Now open command prompt. CMD. CMD. Then snow SQL hyphen C. Then connection name. Here connection name is demo. Provide the demo. And hit enter. See, we have successfully connected. Now show schemas. Put semicolon. See, we have two schemas in this default R2 schools database. Go to R2 schools. See, we have three schemas. Here also it has thrown the same three schemas. Okay, so in this video we have seen how to download, install, and configure SnowSQL for Snowflake account. For more Snowflake videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.